Hello and welcome back to Haltech TV. Today we have another unboxing for you and this is on the industrial PPC series, specifically the NFF12 model. Now they do do four variants in the F12 model range because they do have different RPM variants, different certifications between the fans uh, that you can choose from so you can get a cheaper fan with lower certifications, lower RPM, that kind of thing. Uh, so you can really get the one that you need and, and nothing more. And I'm going to put a list up uh, on the screen now which basically shows all the differences between those four. Uh, but what we have here today are two of those variants. I know we've got three fans here and I'll discuss that at the end, why we have three but only two variants. And it's, uh, what we have is the 3000 RPM uh, fan, which is this one and this one. I should have probably made them even on both sides. And it's the 2000 RPM fan as well. So we're covering both RPM fan speeds uh, and these are all IP52 certified. So we're not doing the IP67 F12. However, we will be doing that with the uh, NFA14, which we will be doing uh, just after this uh, video. So. Uh, let's go on and take a look at what comes in the box with the NF F12 Industrial PPC Fan. So here we've got the box of the Industrial PPC Fan. There's not really much to say about it. It is a nice box to look at, but there's not really anything to, to discuss. It's very plain. Uh, so we've got the uh, specifications on the back, which I'm not sure if you'll be able to read there. Uh, but if you want to, you can pause that. This is the 3000 RPM fan. So that is the specifications for that. Now, if we open the fan up, if I unbox it, we've got the fan here, it's a black design with the brown um, anti-vibration mount and we've got the Noctua website embossed in the bottom there. So if we take the fan out, I think we have to take it out completely. Uh, the only accessory you get is not much of an accessory, it's just the four standard fan screws. They're not really going to uh, expect you to want uh, to mount a 3000 RPM fan with anti-vibration mounts. I think that would be quite stupid. So, looking at the NFF12 design, we've still got uh, essentially everything from on, on the exterior that you do see on the standard model apart from the colour. So obviously we've got the black colour, same brown uh, anti-vibration mounts, but we do still have the stepped inlet design, uh, the seven blade fan design, uh, we also have the inner surface microstructures still, as well as the focused flow frame on the back there, which was the main, um, yeah, essentially the main selling point, uh, as well as the, the fan design of the F12 uh, that really gave it all of those uh, impressive specifications. Uh, so we've got that. Uh, in terms of actual uh, uh, spec, you obviously get the higher RPM, but you also do get uh, certifications in this case on the IP52 for dust and water protection. Uh, I think it's actually dust and, and moisture protection. Um, whereas the IP67, it, it's completely uh, water sealed, so you can get. Um, you can basically put it under water and it will survive. I think this, you can get a little bit of water on it and it'll be perfectly fine. Uh, but other than that, other features that come with this fan, I'll just try and uh, show you a little bit around the fan while I'm talking. Uh, a couple of other features are, uh, it's got a three phase motor inside, so that's gonna make it a little bit better, a little bit, um, I'd, I'd, I'd say a little bit smoother uh, in terms of running and obviously it's going to be a little bit more powerful. Uh, so we've got that. We also have um, a completely new uh, actual plastic uh, that it's made of. So all Noctua fans are fiberglass reinforced. So on the entire chassis and everything, the fan blades and everything, fiberglass reinforced. Uh, but, but on the uh, original designs, what you would get is fiberglass reinforced, I think it's polybutylene terra, uh, terra phthalate um, or something like that, but it basically PBT. Uh, whereas these ones are uh, fiberglass reinforced polyamide, which is uh, meant to be a lot stronger uh, than the original design. 
uh, and I think they claim up to 140 degrees Celsius it can withstand. Um, and it's, uh, these fans are essentially brake proof. I've, I've put quite a lot of pressure on every single Noctua fan I've tested uh, and it, none of them are flimsy. Uh, they really are quite solid. Um, they just they just don't don't break at all. Uh, so that is the Noctua NFF12 Industrial PPC fan. Uh, I'm going to then go on back into my um, where I where I was before and discuss why we have two three thousand RPM fans over maybe a different variant and what we will be going what we're going to uh, be using with them. So uh, I'll jump back to there now. So to answer the question of why we had only two variants but three fans, uh, well the answer doesn't actually link towards uh, this particular actual review, uh, well this unboxing specifically uh, that we're doing right now, uh, or the written review that's going to go along with it technically. Um, but what the reason why we're doing this is because we're wanting to add an extra section to our CPU cooler tests uh, and the simple reason is uh, we do currently do two different types of tests on CPU coolers. Uh, we do a stock test where we test them at stock and then we do a, uh, a unified noise level uh, performance test. Now the difference between these are stock test, we take the CPU cooler at stock, test it, give you the results, uh, temperature, that kind of thing. Uh, we also do the noise level tests, um, but uh, that's a little a, a little different. Uh, and then we also test uh, by taking the fans off, replacing them with NFF12s or A15s, I believe it is, uh, depending on the size of the cooler, and then we test it again. And the reason behind this is uh, a lot of stock coolers will come, they come with different types of fans, uh, and these fans can be really quiet or really loud, and uh, some of them are so loud that you will actually want to put fan speed reducers on them if you were to use them in an everyday system. Now what this would mean is that if you just looked at the st stock chart and saw a really high performance cooler and you bought it and then put fan speed reducers on, it may not perform as well as something lower down that chart with uh, a quieter fan that comes with its stock. So we wanted to uh, unify the noise levels uh, to really take that variable out of the equation so that we can test the heat sinks directly. But then what we are also noticing is that if we're putting lower performance fans on, uh, we're not really seeing the maximum performance of each cooler. So if someone does want really high performance fans on, they're not really uh, getting the information that they need to make a good decision. So, these 3000 RPM fans with an airflow rating of 167 meters cubed per hour, obviously you can convert that to CFM if you want, but more importantly, a static pressure rating of 7.63 millimeters H2O, they seem to me, I haven't yet reviewed them, so we are, I can't, I can't uh, give you uh, my own evidence or whatever, but they seem to me like the perfect fans to test the maximum potential of each heatsink. So we're going to be using these fans along with their original models to not only get a kind of a stock then everyday system tests, but also a maximum potential test so we can see how good each uh, heatsink can actually perform because we are trying to reach the upper limit of every single cooler with these kind of fans. So uh, let's go and uh, check out the written review by using the links down below and you can find them. Um, see all the specifications, all of our uh, reviews on these products and products like it using those links. Uh, so yeah, the links for everything will be down below. Go check out the Haltech TV or well, the Haltech website I should say. Uh, and uh, check out all our reviews, give us some feedback if you are that uh, giving. And I'm Hal Thompson, you've been watching another Haltech TV video. Please don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.